All right, what is going on, guys? And welcome back to another brand new episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars Adventures Emulator, a brand new update. Now, obviously, it's not going to be an update to the actual emulator. Uh, they haven't released anything <clears throat> just yet other than removing the Halloween event. But we got a brand new uh, long paragraph update about uh, what the developers have been currently up to. And so if you're looking on screen right now, we got a couple of things we get to go through. On one side, we got Polish and Rework tab, and then the core gameplay, open beta, uh, battle of classes, and more. And then, of course, the final uh, process will be crafting, collection, and crates. So we're going to take a look at this first off. Um, so pretty much everything that is highlighted in green is going to be priority. I'm sorry, yellow. Everything that is highlighted in yellow is going to be priority. Everything that is not colored into the boxes are to-do lists. Um, work in progress, obviously, are the squares with the, that are already filled in. And then, of course, the check marks have already been completed, which I don't believe there's anything completed on this list at the moment. So, obviously, in the Polish and Reworks tab, uh, their main priority is going to be moderation tools. Report function, overhaul 20 games, uh, Republic Defender, overhaul, plus a bunch of new levels. And then, of course, more game settings, uh, visual overhaul, asset reimport, and UI overhaul. Which now, I'm actually looking forward to the UI overhaul quite a bit to see how much more clean it's going to look and how much more smooth it's going to operate. Now, obviously, overhauling the... Uh, Either that's 2D or 20 games. My eyesight is not good anymore. I'm pretty sure that is 2D games. Um, that's going to be quite interesting to see how that's going to uh, perform. And then Republic Defender overhaul. Quite interesting. I'm obviously looking forward to the rest of the levels to see if I can finally complete those. So for the core gameplay, obviously... Their main priority is going to be purchasing housing models, such as rooms, such as the uh, expandable Jedi living quarters, such as the party deck, the trophy room, etc. And I'm sure a couple other things. Basic combat, PvE with uh, NPCs, hopefully. More mini games, Multiplayer games, character custom customizer, name approval, approval system, and more housing lots. Now you can already tell what I'm super excited for on this one is going to be the more housing lots. Obviously that one, and then of course character customizer. Because my Zabrick still does not have his tattoos whatsoever. Multiplayer games, I'm very excited for that. We get to finally look into um, playing around with a couple of our other friends for, let's say, lightsaber duel or speeder bike racing, etc. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Basic combat PvE, I'm super intrigued with that as well. Hopefully the NPCs will start uh, giving us experience to level up a bit. But that, obviously that's not going to be coming until the actual battle class tab. Uh, purchasing housing models obviously is still going to be a big favor of mine. And then of course after the core gameplay we are going to be launching into open alpha. Open beta I should say. Um, they actually changed the term. Let me see if I can find it here. Because uh, I was reading this when they had first posted. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Right here. So they are no longer using the... That's weird. I can't highlight. Anyway. They are no longer using the term alpha for the public release. They feel that it is significantly a lack of growth and with more content than the original uh, than the original game that Sony had created, had at launch. They thought the beta term was the only... How do I put this? The only fitting... Uh, the only fitting word or term, if you will. But I actually do prefer open beta. It definitely feels a lot more professional. It feels a lot more uh, inviting... And a lot more, I'm not really sure. I just like the term a lot more than open alpha, to tell you the truth. Beta more gives the feeling of, you know, you get to experience it first, 
firsthand before anybody else does. Now, obviously, with open beta comes the server... Uh, I can't even fucking remember how to pronounce that word. Stabilish, stabilish, I Yeah, I can't pronounce it. Anyway, the server... Um, hopefully, the server's not going to crash during open beta. I really hope not. But they're going to be mostly focusing on the server, and then, of course, the public beta launch... And then after all that stuff is taken care of, battle classes will start hitting out. And so their main priority will be battle classes, the experience from combat in many games, and then of course the mission terminals. And then obviously crafting collection and crates will be the crafting system and the collections. So let's take a look at some of the stuff that is to do. Um, obviously moderation tools, report function, Lightsaber Duel Overhaul, plus new levels. I'm super looking forward to that. Better audio mixing. That'll be really nice. Lighting Overhaul. That'd be really nice as well. New graphical FX. Asset Reimport. Accurate Maps. Fix Animations and Add Animation Mixing. Better Leaderboards. Better Communicators and Profiles. So that's going to be really fun to go through. Um, definitely looking forward to seeing pretty much all of those coming into play. And then obviously a bunch of stuff in the core gameplay, purchasing housing models, uh, companions overhaul, better attachments, companion AI, companion flourish, saving attachments, basic combat PvE, Ryloth combat zone, health and energy, enemy AI plus more, and then uh, saber strike, card commander, multiplayer games, character customizer, name approval system, more housing lots and saber customizations. Open beta is pretty much everything that you see there. The uh, server, the event calendar, squads, and public beta launch. I think once squads starts getting into progress, I think the emulator is definitely going to start picking up a bunch more after that. And then obviously everything under battle class and more. Uh, battle classes, experience from combat and minigames, unbarring bunkers, the Karlak maps, mission terminals, plus missions... Uh, obviously, daily missions, the tokens, token vendors, and then token exclusive items. Super, super looking forward to getting my hands on that part of the roadmap. And then crafting collections and crates. Obviously, the crafting system. Iting, items dropping from combats and minigames. Crafting exclusive items. Crafting and keys and collections. Now, obviously, this, as a reminder, is a... Uh, subject to change as you can see under here this roadmap is a plan plans change our roadmap is subject to change at any time now obviously they can change a bunch of this move stuff from one place to another um but currently that is their biggest update their biggest announcement obviously i'm sure you guys that are watching this video have already seen their announcement in the emulator server so you guys probably already know as much as i already do but um Hopefully, here's to a here's to a hopeful 2023 for the d developers of the emulator, and hopefully we'll be able to see open beta hit around. I would assume probably April, if not May, um, of next year is when I'm guessing we'll start seeing a lot more closer progress to open beta. Now I know it's taking a very long time for them to even bring this out, but honestly. These guys, and I've said this in my very beginning videos, these people know what they're doing. These people know how to work all this stuff out, and they are trying their hardest to get everything out and functional and non-buggy for us to actually experience. So that is pretty much it that I have to update you guys on the emulator. Let me know down in the comments below which category you guys are most excited about and what you're most excited about from each category. And until then, I'll be talking to you guys pretty soon.